Hello oh, and welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? Well, so, what is this video about? Well, as the um, title says, I got an Audi TT. And when I say I got an Audi TT, it kind of, it's kind of a small white lie. I work for a, uh, an auction company um, that collects cars and we went, we pick up cars once the leases end and I basically, I was the only one there that was small enough and slim enough to get into an Audi TT so it got, came to me I've never driven an Audi TT before I don't think I've ever actually driven an Audi before to be honest have I driven an Audi? no I don't think I've ever driven an, an actual Audi before so it's, that was a good um, experience if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, don't forget to subscribe down there. Click the notification bell, like squad, and uh, thanks again for tuning in. Basically, enjoy the video, and um, I'll talk to you when you get back. So today I uh, I got a Audi TT S line. Yes, an Audi TT. Um, when I say I got it, um, X lease cars. And they uh, basically, we drive them to the auction place, whether it's Leeds, Manchester or Newton, which is basically Liverpool. Um, uh, and basically, uh, I was I'm the, I was the, thin, the slimmest one today, so basically, I get I got the um, the Audi, and why not? Um, it's, I've never driven an, an Audi TT before, and they were, the next group went to BMW. I was like, oh, BMW. Then I found out it was two Mondeos, so I was kind of happy to get this. It's not bad on fuel, but it's not the best. It's like any any fast sports car. The harder you press the accelerator, the fuel's going to go down. I do think it's a good car. It's very comfy. I could quite happily drive four, five, six hundred miles. I could go drive around Europe in this. Obviously, wouldn't have much space for um, for luggage and like this, but I could quite happily do this. You could do so much to this to this uh, this car. Obviously, I think the wheels are quite nice, but personally, I would take them off, um, as you can see, and I'd probably put deep dish ones on just because they look nice. Um, well, I'd probably keep the Audi badge on. Maybe I wouldn't keep the Audi badge. I'm not sure. Maybe debadge it. Um, Maybe put um, put a small spoil in the back just to make it, you know, nice and keep the ass end down a bit. Um, there's a lot. There's, there's no screen. The only the only screen in this car. Like most uh, Audis have a screen now coming up coming uh, up from the dash. This one is has no screen. The screen is the actual dashboard itself. The where the speedometer is. That is where it is. So rather than to look away from the road. You can look down and then look back up to traffic, which I think in some ways is quite good. You know, it doesn't make it makes things a lot easier. Uh, um, it sounds really good. It picks up speed really good. Like it has a digit. It's, it's a digital speedometer, but uh, so yeah, the um, it has media, which, which is basically a radio, so you can change it into that to that. just everything about it is uh, sometimes when you put it on to um, when you put it on to say radio the radio that bit there gets bigger and then that and that go like the size of where the bit where in the middle where it says speed it just goes dead small which is actually quite good when I got into this uh, this car, uh, I was thinking, oh, how do you turn the heating down and all that? I think it's really good how they instead of having everything down here, all that all rubbish down here. I like the fact that they've put all all in it here. So you've got the the um, strength of it there, the risk of the hot and cold, and obviously the um, what, where you want it to blow out of there. And I think that's quite a good feature. Why have everything? Why have just vents and have you know why have just vents and have just uh, and have loads of crap there, and also you don't need a radio. 
because the, the, because all the details are here you can control it by either this or by this and this I mean what's in here you've got the um, the actual CD player there with the SD cards and like that you know it's not a bad car to be honest it's a uh, small that's the nice it's the uh, nice S line there um, seats lovely S line seats so and this is my bag um, Alcantara with a um, not as Alcantara, but is it Alcantara? Yeah, it's Alcantara, it's not suede. Alcantara with leather stitching. It's got, I mean, it has got, it has got back seats, but I mean, come on now. Someone could pos someone could sit behind there with them there, but nobody could, no one could sit behind me. And I'm not even that big and this is, and the way I'm sitting like this is like, I'm 5'11 and I'm so far back. If I was any, any, um, closer I wouldn't be able to really do the pedals very well it's a lovely car it really is yeah, I think it is quite a nice car um, I do like the fact that as well it's not all about the um, like if you look here it's not all about this this is a trackpad and everything like that I think you turn it but it also has the the radio there median you pull down sat nav I don't know if the navigation thing works the telephone as well which I think is quite good and I do feel that this car it feels solid but it also not just feels solid it um sometimes when you put your foot down it definitely feels like you've got um a brick in the back so it does feel heavy but it also feels solid so it's quite a heavy car but it picks up speed quite fast but it is it is a fast car um would I buy one? Maybe I'd get one because it's quite a nice car to take around country roads. Uh, you put your foot down a bit in the ass and can flick out when you do it. What I would have on this is I would rather have it as an as an automatic and maybe have flappy paddles. Just so you can when you go around corners and you drive and you can just you know you can just be like bang bang bang. I personally am not a massive fan of these electric um handbrakes. In some ways they're good because um, you can pull. You put your foot on the brake, you pull them up, and the car decides when it's when it when it's enough handbrake rather than rather than dragging a lever up. I also think like, what happens if say the uh, the battery runs out? It's electrical. If the battery runs out, you you need to jump and start. You, need, you can't jump start it. So you've got to get a charge the battery up to make it all work again. So that's the flaw, which I think. People I means not not very likely it's going to happen, hopefully, but it happens. Yeah. So, what did you think about that video? Um, what do you think about the car? It's a, uh, it's, uh, it's it's more than I think it must be more than a two liter that because it picked up speed very very fast. I did a uh, try and do um, a small like um, video of the exhaust, but to me it's not that loud. The engine sound grumbles quite nice when it's when it's on idle. You first start cold, start starting it up. But to be honest, when uh, when you rev it, it's not that loud. So if I had if I had got a car like that, I would definitely put a, put an exhaust on it just because you want that grumble. Probably with um electronic uh, valve openers, so you can have when you go into residential areas, you can put it onto valves closed. And once you get in the open, you can open the valves and see hear it grumble. I've never really thought about Audi um, so that was it was really impressive I enjoyed it um, I'll probably wrap that I'd, I was thinking about wrapping the other day I think maybe either a matte blue like a light one or a, a blue chrome what do you think of the what do you think what, what color would you wrap either 3 series BMW or an Audi the other car it was an E-Class um, Mercedes 18 I think it was 18 plate E-Class it was convertible um, same similar controls as um, as, as the uh, Audi, but to be honest, I've driven an A-Class, an E-Class. Now, and to be honest, to be honest, the um, a BMW, it just does. There's nothing. It doesn't compare to it. When you put your foot down, you get that. Ooh, it's just. It's really nice. 
when you put your foot down on a, in, a, in a Mercedes, it's a bit like delay and then go. I'm not really keen on the, on Mercedes, to be honest. Um, what do you think? But I, what I really do wish, to be honest, is that that Audi was an automatic and it had flappy paddles. Because when, because to be honest, when I got near to where I was dropping it off, I put my foot. It went around. It was going round and round about a little bit, like a corner. I put my foot down, and the ass end did go out, and it was quite exhilarating. And if I could have flappy paddles, and I could like drop the gear, put my foot down, send the ass end out. And then pop, pop, the, pop the gear up again and go back to normal, it would have been so exhilarating. I'd be like, yes, my next car's an Audi. But um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you again for viewing my channel. Thanks for the current 83 subscribers. I do appreciate it. Let's get it up to 100. But then let's get it to 1,000 and 1,000 subscribers. I know you can do it. Share these, share my videos. If you like them, comment. But if you want to do collaborations with about motorbikes or cars and also I'm I've put an offer in on that first house, she's she's declined it but uh, I've put another offer in, hopefully that'll come about. It'll be probably in March by the time I get it and then I'll be doing it up and I'll be documenting it all for you guys. So um, anyway, thanks again for watching uh, and I'll see you all very very soon. Thank you and goodbye.